You know what I really like about filmmaking, like just making content on YouTube, is that the possibilities are truly endless. You can, you can make videos about anything and someone will enjoy your content. I love it. It's just, there's so much out there to film and it's just so exciting every single day. You know what also is exciting? Um, got a comment here from Thomas Neal and he asked me the, the other day, what camera and video editing software do you use? The quality is amazing, new subscriber. Well, thank you, Thomas. Uh, much appreciated for the subscribe and thanks for the compliment. In terms of what kind of camera I use, I actually use a Canon M100. It's, uh, I shoot it in at 60 frames per second. It's got a 14, sorry, a 15 to 45 milliliter, milliliter, <laughs> millimeter lens on it. And uh, for the most part, I am shooting in auto, so auto focus and auto settings, but I am trying to learn how to shoot manual because obviously shooting in manual is much better. And for editing, I, I use um, the just the standard Mac um, editing software. What is it? Uh, like iMovie, I think that's what it is, but that's what I use for my editing uh, software right now. But uh, Thomas, thanks, thanks for the uh, question and thanks for the subscription. Much appreciated. It's fun doing shots like that when you're by yourself because you literally have to go back to go get the camera, <laughs> so you're doing the same thing twice. So before I usually pick up my daughter, I like to get things prepared for snacks wise and everything, so that's what I'm doing right now, is just getting some snacks, some tomatoes, some grapes, some apples, you know, get it all ready for her. So when she comes here, she doesn't have to wait, boom. And snack away. <laughs> I tried to film a coffee segment two times, both times I spilled the coffee, so that's why I'm cleaning right now. Probably not gonna film a coffee segment. This is what happens when you make YouTube videos. It just doesn't go according to plan at times. There, super cinematic coffee segment. Not how I planned, but it'll have to work. Since I talked about the camera that I have and the editing program that I'm using, I guess this is a good time to bring it up and, and discuss about is it necessary to have good camera equipment to make videos? So yeah, having good camera equipment definitely helps a lot. It makes your video that much better and makes it look so much just cooler in general and just clean and you know, it's less shaky and everything like that. And it's, it's definitely something that you know you should think about in investing into. But at the same time, when I started my YouTube channel for about a year, all I did was use my cell phone. So you don't want to let the the principle of, or sorry, you don't want to let the, you don't want to let the idea of not having good or decent camera equipment stop you from making videos. If anything, you should utilize the fact that you don't have that equipment and use your cell phone or whatever you have at your dispense. And then that will make you that much better when you do get the camera that you want. You'll, you'll be a master of it, like me. So good, so good. Probably make a master class. So before I even had a computer, I was using my cell phone and I had a couple apps on there that I was editing my videos on. And it was so painful to do, believe me, because I'm using a tiny little screen to edit these videos. And it was, it was incredibly difficult and hard and time consuming, but I ended up doing it. And then when I finally got a computer, I ended up just having, well it didn't have iMovie on it and it wouldn't work on my Mac at the time so I ended up going to my cousin and my cousin uses tech savvy skills and he, you know, hacked into the hard drive and went into the external RAM and he boosted up the, uh, he boosted up the CPUs and next thing you know he was flying down and boom, sliced right into the mainframe. 
and that's and he, he did some crazy stuff and I ended up with iMovie on my computer. And yeah, iMovie is just a basic standard video editing program, but it works for me. So you don't need crazy stuff to, to you know, to make a video. Use what you have at your dispense. If you want to see any more tech videos, I'll leave my cousin's, uh, I'll leave my cousin's YouTube channel at the very end of this video. Check him out. He's got some, he's got some good stuff. Hey, Warren, maybe if you're watching this video, maybe you can do a tech review on the M100 because I think, I believe you have the M100. So yeah, maybe you could do a tech review on the M100. Um, that's, but yeah, I, I, I digress. You don't need the craziest equipment to make a video. You just, you just need what you got available at, for the time being. Simple. And have fun with it. An hour, hour and a half before I have to pick up the kiddo. So I'm going to practice flying my drone a little bit more. Speaking of like, filming and everything. I have this really cool idea for like a little mini movie, you know, maybe like two, three minute movie or whatever. Um, I've never filmed anything like that before. So trying to figure out like how to, like I've been looking up how to do storyboards and everything like that. So if you, if you guys know anything like that or any channels or tips, you know, I would love to hear it because that would be super, super helpful. But that's, that's what I'm, uh, you know, I got something going on with trying to figure out how to do that. I'm rambling, time to go practice flying. The I am practicing quite a bit of different filming techniques. It's um, it's fun. It's quite a bit of fun to film and do this stuff. Just trying to get creative, learn how to hold the camera nice and steady and stable, keep shot center, like I just did. It's something about it is just so enjoyable. If you guys, you know, any of you guys like doing, like filmmaking and stuff like that, um, I would love to hear some of your tips, I really would. Or, you know, anything like that. I know, for example, uh, Peter McKinnon, I watch his channel a lot and I get a lot of tips from him, but if you guys know any other channels or maybe some good tips that you, you personally use, hit me up, let me know. I would love to learn some more stuff to make it, you know, make videos that much better. Trying to learn a lot more handheld stuff, because if I could get good with handheld, then, Imagine what it's gonna look like if I get like a Ronin S or something like that. Ooh. Work my way up. Work my way up. Alrighty, so just dropped off my daughter to her mom's place. And now I'm at my brother's place. Oh, the door's open? No, oh no. buddy, hi. Oh, watch your tail, bud. Watch your tail. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hi, hi, hi. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, okay. 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 You want to go in the bar right behind it? I don't even want to go from this side. Well, because you could have actually the cotton that mounted here. Workout station for my brother. You know. Alright, so that's it for the episode. Thanks for tuning in. Always great to see your friendly faces here. Much appreciated. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day, evening, whatever time zone you are in. Ooh. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Other than that, see you. It's a sweatsuit. Time to work out. <laughs>